In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son, at his ascension to the heavens, was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul came down to Antioch, where he spent a short time before continuing his journey through the Galatian country, and then through Phrygia, encouraging all the followers. An Alexandrian Jew named Apollos now arrived in Ephesus. He was an eloquent man with a sound knowledge of the scriptures, and yet, though he had been given instruction in the way of the Lord and preached with great earnestness and was accurate in all the details he taught about Jesus, he had only experienced the baptism of John. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him speak boldly in the synagogue, they took an interest in him and gave him further instruction about the way. When Apollos thought of crossing over to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote asking the disciples to welcome him. When he arrived there, he was able by God's grace to help the believers considerably by the energetic way he refuted the Jews in public and demonstrated from the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ. This is the word of the Lord. And the response to the psalm, God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. I shall ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, anything you ask for from the Father, he will grant in my name. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I have been telling you all this in metaphors. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in metaphors, but tell you about the Father in plain words. When that day comes, you will ask in my name. And I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you, because the Father himself loves you for loving me and believing that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world and now I leave the world to go to the Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, 
O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I don't know what you think about prayer. Um, as Christians, we should be praying regularly. I suggest every day, at least. But when we ask for things, we don't always get what we want, do we? If I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I really want that fast Ferrari car or that Lamborghini, and God doesn't give it to me, what's happening there? Or I pray to God earnestly, Lord, please let me win the lottery. Please, please. And I never win the lottery. What do I make about that? What, what about that, hey? Well, prayer is something we do as Christians. It's the most important thing we do as Christians. And God wants us to ask for things. What we ask for, though, isn't necessarily the best for us or for other people. Sometimes our prayers might be answered. Sometimes we might hear nothing. And when we hear nothing, it usually means God is saying either wait or no. I remember when I met Michelle, my wife, and uh, it was her birthday, and I wanted to impress her with a big present for her birthday. And I didn't have a lot of money, but I knew she wanted a handbag in this shop in, uh, I think it was Debenhams or John Lewis. We worked in just off Oxford Street at that time. And I said, uh, oh, I, you know, and I knew she wanted a handbag, and I prayed to God, Lord, please, may this handbag uh, be affordable. And I went in the shop, and it was far too expensive. I couldn't afford it. But I prayed about it, and lo and behold, just before her birthday, the handbag was in the sale, and I was able to afford it. Now, I don't know if that's an answer to prayer or what, but um, prayer often isn't like that, is it? We ask for things material things and we don't always get them. But what prayer is, is a participation with the life of God. So as we grow in holiness, as we grow in our spiritual journeys, our desires should become more aligned to that of God, um, epitomised by Christ himself, of course. When Christ prays to the Father, He's not praying for fast cars or whatever, is he, or, or wealth. He's praying um, for closeness to the Father, that his will be done. And, uh, and we should follow in that way. Now, of course, if we are in need, God wants to know what those needs are. And he does answer prayer quite often in remarkable ways. Um, so you must pray to God all the time about those things you need material things of course as well but also when we grow in our journey with God's with with God our desires become more aligned with his and what's God's desire well God's desire is all about love he desires to love he because he is love God is love and therefore when we pray to God the Father we, our um, motives and our uh, motivation should be concerned with love ultimately as we grow closer to God through Jesus Christ. And then when we ask in the spirit of love, when our motivations are all about loving God and those around us and praying for them, then we ourselves are filled with joy, the joy of the Holy Spirit, who we will look at on Pentecost. So, brothers and sisters, keep praying. Pray for all the things you need. Give us today our daily bread. But as we grow in our spiritual lives, expect your desires, what you want, your prayers you want to be answered to be more about loving 
God and other people. Amen. Now, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord, we lift up to you the church. May the church be filled with joy as we bring our prayers to you. We thank you that you're the God of love and we pray, Lord, that as we are sanctified, our hearts and desires may grow more and more in alignment with your loving ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the unity of the church. We pray for the day when all denominations will come together and proclaim you Lord with one voice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the leaders of the church across the world. We pray for Pope Francis. And we pray for the ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, of the Orthodox churches. We pray for the leaders of the various Protestant churches around the world. We pray for the leadership of the Anglican Communion. We pray for Archbishop Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury. We pray for Bishop Stephen, who will be the new Bishop of York. We pray for the Bishop of London, Sarah. Rob, the Bishop of Edmonton. We pray for our Archdeacon, Father John Hawkins. We pray for our area dean, Father Stuart and Father Stephen Gallagher, who will be taking over as well. And Lord, we pray for Father Taman as he leads us in this parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those persecuted brothers and sisters across the world, those who are in, in incredibly difficult circumstances because of their faith in your Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the young people of the church, that their hearts may be filled with the joy of being in a relationship with your Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to the world. We pray for those poor people who died in the, the air crash in Pakistan. We pray for their families who are grieving. We pray for the recovery of those who survived. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the end to the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for those who are ill, those who are grieving because of this terrible illness, those who feel isolated, forgotten about, depressed, we pray for those who've suffered financially because of this as well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all the workers in the NHS, that you may uphold them in their important work. We pray for those who also have had to keep working during this time, the police, people who work in shops, delivery drivers, bin collectors. We lift all those people up to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the leaders of the nations, that their hearts may be motivated by love, we pray for our own Queen, Elizabeth, 
We pray for our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. We pray for the political health of this country. We pray for all those in authority over us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to you those uh, people who live in Enfield, in particular those people in Freezy Water. We pray that, your, that they sense your love and your peace and your healing today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we lift up to you those who are ill in mind, body or spirit. We pray for those who are watching this who are um, not feeling well. We pray for those on our hearts as well. Friends, families, colleagues. And in this parish we particularly remember Pauline Stathers, Doreen Flint, Ron Painter, Claudia Berner, Susie Antony, Sue Lee, Heather Anderson, Miranda Kernew, Kathleen Hawkins, Dory Lynch, Davidson Sukansing, Jeanette Sukansing, Tony Betts, Maureen Rosario, Dinah Jones, Barbara Baker, Luke Sheehan, Violet Popkrant, Emma Evans, Father Alan Cross, Patricia Ray, Patricia Maloney, Maudie Fox, Michael Shine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those who've recently departed. Charles Lampkin, Jeff Howson, John Mason, Reverend Linda Liversidge, Dorothy Blacktop, Janet Young, Angela Stevens, Beatrice Botang, Cheryl Williams, Danny Willoughby, Deacon David Stewart, John Deacon, Blanche, sorry, Jean Deacon, Blanche Annis, and Ian Sergison. And Lord, today we remember William Sewell, Albert Constable, and Dorothy Maskell, whose anniversary of death are today. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. We are the body of Christ. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things. 
He was sent by you in your great goodness to be our saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Mother of God, of the Apostles, of the Amartas, of St. George and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray with confidence in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.